stated distrust of and lack of confidence in the state and its institutions. These frustrations are visible in the pent up anger which has been boiling over in the mass protest in cities across the country. Collectively, we affirm the validity of the protest and the grievances driving the organization and mobilization of popular anger. Police brutality in particular and the brutality of security, armed forces, and law enforcement agents towards citizens in general is a fact and a reality that cannot be contradicted. In this respect, we strongly condemn the thinly veiled threat issued by the military command, wherein the unacceptable move is being made to crush the peaceful protest. Such a threat is ill-conceived in the face of legitimate citizens' protest and a threat to constitutionally guaranteed rights. We call on the military to immediately withdraw its ill-advised attempt to undermine the constitutional freedom of citizens to voice their displeasure about the state of the country. We reject in entirety the move to draft in the military to quell the protest, even where there has been no violent conduct on the part of the protesters. The military should remain in their barracks and at their duty post defending the territorial integrity of the country are not deployed in a dangerous, anti-people and anti-democratic operation to crush a people who are exercising their right to freedom of association, freedom of expression, and freedom of assembly, all enshrined in the Constitution of Nigeria. It is important we state here that the commencement of the exercise crocodile smiles Six is ill time and will exacerbate the distrust of citizens. It's also important to let the Nigerian authorities know that the entire world is watching its response to the legitimate demands of the youth. The world is watching the state sponsored assault on the freedom of expression and association of Nigerians in the forms of illegal bans on protests. Mm -hmm by on our behalf uh, to restate it very clearly uh, the purpose of this uh, coalition and the purpose of this intervention. Uh, I, want to, I want to be very clear. We endorse what the youths are doing on the street. We endorse the protest. Uh, we welcome it because we think it is long overdue. We welcome it because, as we said, it is legitimate and they are making legitimate demands. And we actually encourage Nigerians to protest peacefully. Uh, but let us also be clear, we are not spokespersons for the protest. Ah, and we are not, because we also need to send a message to the uh, uh, young protesters on the streets, that we are not seeking in any way to take their space, and that we are not seeking in any way uh, to, to, to pretend that we are leaders of, that, of the movement and of the protest. That said, Let's now take your, 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 your questions. Uh, on the nexus between the army and the, and what has been said, and, and the military operations, and then also what we are doing. It, it, it is clear, you know, it, it, it was when Nigerians began to question uh, why uh, you are uh, issuing threats that the military command came to begin to talk about the uh, operations in cyber, in cyberspace. Uh, a military operation in cyberspace, you just ask yourself that question. And, the, and who announces that? You know? So when the military says that they are loyal to the president, not to the state and not to Nigeria, but loyal to the person of the president, what the, what the military is saying is that they are prepared if the president is also prepared. You know, to crush the protest. And our duty is to say that, look, that is unconstitutional. Thank you. On the question on conflict between military and defense, I think what is important is, as citizens, we have a right to always defend our rights if we think there is a likelihood of our rights to be abused. And that is why we're calling on the military. We have said it should be made in the barracks. They have nothing to do with affairs with civil activities, 
still it online have the right to use social media and the online platform to demand for their rights. And that is what we are saying today, that we do not care what the military or the defense, what we are saying, we do not care what their statement is. Citizens' rights must be protected, and we do not want to see an interference with the right of citizens to protest, either on the street or on social media platforms. We want rights to be protected, and we want citizens to freely demand for accountability in their own country. Nigeria belongs to all of us. Whether it will justify a possible military action that can be taken uh, by, the, uh, by the military. It is for us to say again, and just like um, has been said before, why we are doing this. We are simply saying that no military action should be taken against civilians when they are exercising they are constitutionally guaranteed right. However, that means that civilians come out and they protest on the street and there is loudness. The military, as well as other law enforcement um, agents or departments in Nigeria, has the responsibility to protect civilians, to protect even protesters as they go out on the street. It is not their responsibility to protect themselves. The Constitution is clear in terms of the primary responsibility of the government. And Section 39 of the Constitution is also clear that civilians have the right to freedom of expression. So the government must play its primary, primary responsibility, which is the security and the welfare of the people. So as, as protesters go out, the military and the government must protect them and not attack them. You, it is not correct or it is not proper to see army coming up with its own um, instruction and defense is also coming up with its own instruction. That shows lack of coordination and is not good for the nation image. Uh, secondly, we also want to express you know, concern that uh, this time around we are seeing a very dangerous trend. When people are you know, physically demonstrating and expressing their concern over the bad governance, the corruption in Nigeria, some people are hired to come and disrupt, this, you know, vandalize people's property. I think this is absolutely wrong. Uh, this is the first time we are seeing this kind of thing that you know, this level of intolerance you know, that we are experiencing should not be accommodated under democracy. We call on government and all those who are sponsoring those you know, uh, who dream or those people that are hired just to, you know, uh, send away those who are doing peaceful protests, demanding and expressing, you know, um, concern over the bad governance, corruption, you know, in this country, they should desist from that. Otherwise, what they are doing is actually undermining 